Hello, I'm climate scientist Nick Earl, working at University of Tasmania, and today I'm answering your question. In Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs, we saw some unusual rainfall patterns. <laughs> That's an understatement. Um, what changes to rainfall can be predicted due to global warming? Okay, first of all, um, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs is very unrealistic, but it's fun, it's funny. Um, but there are a few things which did annoy me a little bit. Um, one of the sentences is, um, I mean, the clouds probably have water in them, which is why I guess you shot it up there in the first place. I mean, the, the sentence, the clouds probably have water in them is, <laughs> is very silly because clouds are water. When you look at a cloud, you're looking at tiny drops of water all together. So clouds are water, not probably have water in them <laughs> anyway. Um, so let's just have a quick look at the, the scene in question. Um, so I'll just share my screen. There you go. Uh, this is part of the scene where he is looking at the clouds he's made. Um, these look a bit like cumulonimbus clouds, but they're a funny color. And obviously, instead of rain, you get burgers, which is uh, incredibly unrealistic. <laughs> but it is funny. I do get that. Um, yeah, and you don't get lights in clouds like that, uh, other than lightning, but it, it happens a lot faster than than what's actually shown here. Um, <laughs> and you'd never eat a burger that's just come straight out of the sky. Anyway, that's cool. It's fun and it's a fun question. Um, so anyway, I will... Yes, so your actual question was, what changes to rainfall can be predicted due to global warming? Now, this is what we're looking at here. So if we focus on, these are different emission scenarios. So this depends on how much carbon we put in the atmosphere. So if we go all the way to the right hand side, the um, this is if we put a lot of carbon in the atmosphere and the temperature goes up by four degrees, which is a lot overall, um, this is what the rainfall changes will look like. So the, gr the green going dark green means it's gonna get wetter and then the orange ready colors are drier. So as you can see, um, the world is gonna get wetter in places like the Sahara on the equator, in the, in the on the poles, for example, and then drier in certain spots like the Carib Caribbean, um, in the Mediterranean and south of South Africa, and then Australia. We can, or Southwest WA especially, the rest of Australia is not that strong a signal and it looks like it's going to get wetter off the coast of Tasmania. Um, let's have a look in slightly closer detail. So this is the bottom left one here is um, a zoomed in version and you can see it's looking like it's going to get a bit wetter off the coast of Tasmania, drier in southwest WA and then the rest not that different, maybe a bit less rainfall in the south so that's what we're expecting however um this on the right these diagrams show how the intensity of rainfall is going to change and it looks like we're going to get so overall we'll get slightly less rain in australia however when it does rain it means that it's going to be more extreme so we'll get less rain in general less rainfall events but when they do happen they'll get slightly more extreme which we've got a lot of floods around at the moment in what, Northern Tassie and in uh, New South Wales and Victoria. It's kind of an example when it is raining, it's really raining. Um, and then we'll also potentially get longer droughts. So not great news, but um, anyway, I hope this was useful. Um, have a nice day. See you later.